Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm waiting for Brie. I'm still doing my uh, face routine. Um, I have been under the weather all week. And so I always feel like, am I the only one? You know when you're like sick, do you just totally like throw your skincare routine out the door, right? <laughs> um, just waiting for Brie and then we'll get started. I'm doing well, how are you? I know someone thought I was Brie, it's Nikki. I know Brie's been in charge the past few weeks, but I'm here. Um, thank you, I never thought I was Brie. I'm actually, today I felt the best I have felt all week, which is so good. Um, love that. Hey everyone, morning. Just waiting for my sister. Sorry, I meant to go on my IG to tell everyone because I forgot to promote it. Um, so hopefully we'll get a lot of you on. Let me make sure I didn't miss my sister. Nope, haven't missed her. So how's everyone's weeks going? Everyone excited for Friday? Yay, Friday. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for the weekend. It's nice to feel good too for the weekend, oh my gosh. Um, someone just asked me what skincare products I use. Hi from Austin, Lauren. <laughs> um, does anyone know this brand? It's so amazing, oh my gosh. It makes your skin so dewy and oh, you could just, your skin like soaks it in. Um, and I think I showed you guys this last time, this brand I started using, I found them on Amazon. Well, at first at Nordstrom's. They have the best oils. I use a few of their oils. And then um, they have this, do you see this um, matcha powder cleanser? I use it every few days. This makes your skin so soft. So if you need to see with that one, it's so awesome. Let's see, I didn't miss Brie at all, have I? Nope. I know Brie was doing some bad bud stuff. Everyone's like, show us the house remodel. I feel like, I haven't done much since the last time. Okay, I don't know if I'm the only one, but like we need to get some furniture. Everything's same like eight weeks. Eight to 12 weeks is everything. Um, and uh, what do you call it? Um, like even shades, look at like what I have to do for shades right now. <laughs> Those blackout curtains. I'm gonna actually take this down. I. We had someone come to do the shades in our house and they're saying eight to 12 weeks. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, that's been crazy. Oh, there's Breezy. Did that accept? Oh, yay. Brie, I was just doing my routine. I said, you know, sometimes when you're sick, you just like throw your routine out the door. Oh, hi, Penelope. Did you hear her? No. I did. Well, I heard, um, yeah. Yeah. It was a little so, spotty. What? It was a little spotty for me at first. Oh. So you want to get started? Good morning, everyone. Yes, I would. So um, who all heard our... Um, episode this past week where we recapped, um, what do you call it? Uh, bottle rock weekend, which was so amazingly fun. No. Um, you what? Said we're recovering still. I'm sick. So breeze. So we both got sick. Um, I think our bodies were just massively shut down. <laughs> um, but actually today I've been the best. I felt my best today, which has been great because I told Artem he's doing Sister Sunday with me this Sunday. That's cute. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I want that. But where are you guys gonna? I don't know. We need to decide. Oh no, I need that. We oh, need to decide. No. Where to go. Um, I wanted to talk to you in our when I come next weekend. I don't know if you saw what just started in um in Napa, but Napa thrives, and it's a bunch of fun little events that just kind of brings away 
indigenous to the environment of Napa. Oh, really? And so I said, you and Artem and I would like to stop one next week. And I was looking at, I'll send you a link, but there could be like, and everything's at Charles Krug. But um, a lot of like awareness, fun stuff. But I think you'd meet really fun locals and like people who just Ooh. really about like keeping Napa. Like, oh, I love that. Well, it's Artem's 40th birthday. You guys, what am I going to do for Artem's 40th? Okay, so you know what I thought? Yeah. Reservations now. I know. I need to make reservations for his 40th, but I'm thinking of give, getting him a really good barbecue. Oh. Yeah. But wait. You guys have a built-in one. There's no barbecue in it? No. Well, so he, so as like everything else in the world, we are having issues with delivery um, because our barbecue supposedly is sitting somewhere in LA right now. It's been the, the most difficult thing. So I was telling Artem this morning, I'm like, maybe you should cancel it thinking that maybe I get him a really nice barbecue for his 40th birthday. Can he cancel it? He's going to look into that today. Um, because, Do you guys think that's cute, right? Yeah, I know which one you should get, but your business manager does not like it. The Heston? I want the Heston barbecue. How much is it? I think it's expensive. Do they do payments? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, we should get to the questions. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Um, First of all, did you guys all like super fab vocab on the podcast this weekend or this past week? I'll that say was kind of fun, like, but I felt like because I was so sick that I couldn't think of like even the word behoove. Like I couldn't think of any big words. Well, and not even that we need to use big words. I could tell you and were a little out of it. Yeah, for sure. But I really liked that. So, okay, well, we'll start with the questions. Brie, look at what I'm using. Oh, that. Oh, I just put that on. Oh, you did. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed with that. Okay. So, how do you. St First question How do you stay smelling fresh after a full day at Bottle Rock? Random question. Um, I don't know if I did smell fresh by the end. Oh, I did. I'll show you. Right, so, I use this. Anyone? I, I love this deodorant. And then. I use that. Same. I but it's like style. I also like this one. This time around with Bottle Rock, the weather was nice. You didn't sweat as bad. Sunday was a little warm, but overall, like we were freezing cold at night. Yeah. Well, and I always keep. I I don't have it up here right now, but I always keep um, a perfume stick. Yeah. With, do you guys know those little perfume sticks? I always keep one in my purse because, like, I always like to smell good. So I always will dab it here and here. Sometimes I that. I should go. I should go grab it. It smells unreal. Yeah. Okay. Second question. The boys are almost two now. What's your favorite milestone or moment with them? Oh my god! I can't believe they're two. You guys, I've been having such baby fever lately. Ugh, it's so bad. Uh, I know. So, gosh, I, I mean, so many amazing milestones, but I feel like one I've been enjoying lately is just um, seeing the independence of Buddy. So, like, I'll him in his room reading on his own mm -hmm. and really going through the pages and just him now figuring out, like, he'll be playing with his cars alone. There's, to see someone growing and not needing me as much, it's cool. Even though I started in the last week, that toddler too, so that two-year-old know, where he'll be like, no, no clothes, no shoes, no snack, even though he wants it, but he says no a hundred times a day. Yeah. And his feet were Nicole. Anyway. I, his feet grew more. You remember I just thought? Oh, yeah. I can't keep shoes on him. And he has bright. I can't even keep pants. Because Teo's growing so tall and his legs are so long, I feel like he's going through pants so quick. So I have to say my favorite milestone is so far is when Teo started to say mama. And then like in times when he really wants me and he goes mama, mama, mama. That like how that makes me feel is like the most incredible feeling ever. Like I've never, I melt like I've never melted before in my life. So 
she could just call me mama his whole life because I'd be very happy. <laughs> Buddy, in the morning if I sleep, like this, I'll hear Brian being like, no, and he'll come sprint in, and how he crawls, jump on me. He looks like a little ninja in his onesie. Oh, so good. And then he'll like pretend to sleep right next. To me. Yep, it does melt my heart. It's the best, by the way. Always end with it. Always end with SPF. Um, yeah, so those are amazing milestones. And Brie, by the way, you have to tell everyone. Does Teona totally speak Russian? Because someone just asked. I think so. The I mean, giddy, the giddy goo, giddy ga. That's what he's always right. Yeah. He, when he looks up, he goes giddy goo da ga, good gee. <laughs> that's like how it sounds, and it's so consistent. Yeah. Oh, do you hear someone coming running? Oh, mama. Dodo. Oh my gosh. So Buddy got in trouble the other day and Brie had to put him in his crib and he was like, Dodo! Mama! Dodo! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Does he not look like Brian there or what? Okay, next one. Hi. Hi, Bud Bud. Hey, yeah, is that your hat? Is mommy wearing a hat too? Yeah, mama hat. Is that mama's hat? Did uh, you mama's go on a walk? Like, um, <laughs> Dada walk. Oh, you and Dada went on a walk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's good. Hi. Hi, Bud Bud. Do you miss Dodo? <laughs> yeah, you miss Dodo. I can't wait when Mateo starts to put those words like that together. Oh, my God. I know. It's, he talks a lot. Someone the other day was like, wait, he's only 22 uh -huh. months? <laughs> yeah. He uh -huh. talks a lot. Can you say hi, Gigi? Gigi's watching. Oh, say hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Oh, my uh -huh. gosh. Hi, Papa. Yeah. Oh, yes, we're running now. Hi, baby. Oh, that was Tay Tay, too, last week. Hi, All right, Tay -tay. buddy. Hi, Tay -tay. Yeah. Yeah, Tay Tay, he says hi, too. Can He's out wait? walking with Dada, but he says yeah. hi. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to finish questions so you could set my lap. Uh, no. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, so question number three for Brie. I love the fanny pack idea for festivals. Can you tell us your festival weekend essentials? So, number one, fanny pack. Because um, you don't want to hold on to things, and I like to just cover my stomach when I consume type of beverage. Um, I just don't want to think about sucking it in. Yeah, and I like to wear fun outfits. I know, and then um, no, okay, you me. Um, and then I have to say, um, I always make sure chapstick or lip gloss is in my fanny pack, and cash, obviously, um, in case of anything in your car. Oh, bud. And then um, for me, jewelry. I mean, it's the vibes. Nicole knows. Like I literally. Queen of joy. She's so good at um, what do you call it? accessorizing. Sorry. Yeah. So okay, you can't keep doing that. Um, I will. Oh my gosh! But no pulling here. No. So we're gonna have to get dad, dad, Brian. <laughs> Getting beat up by Buddy. Um. No. Um. I, I'll plan it like the night before. So, thank you. But yeah, fanny pack is a must, 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 yeah. must. And you're making an accessory part of your outfit, as you can see, I did all weekend. Yeah. No, it's so fanny, and you get a dance. It's just um, fanny pack gives you like a grandma pause in my. Life. No. Okay. That was weird. You paused yourself. I was like. Okay. No, uh, JJ started calling. I need oh. to put, I always forget to put it on airplane mode. Yeah. Okay. Um, so question number four. I love that you love Metallica and you got to see them again at Bottle Rock. What Metallica song would you choose for a theme song to your life? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, baby. Metallica's theme song for my life. What would yours be, Brie? With Metallica? Yeah, like for a life theme song. 
I love Inter Sandman. Thank you, baby. That's sweet. Oh, you're not going to go, even though he pulled my hair so hard. I feel like mine would be like, um, nothing else matters. <laughs> yeah. Or the Unforgiven is a good one. Baby, that is so good. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I feel like as you're saying, you feel like a badass. Like, I feel like kind of like how our life is. Like, that's what you play in through, like a boardroom, a ring, yeah, a sister Sunday. Hi, Berber. Oh, look how cute you look, monkey. Oh, you need to go blow your nose, monkey. Hi. 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 Why don't you go with Dad, Um. Okay, next question. Okay. Oh no. Next question. Um, bye. 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 Yeah. Bye, baby. Um, congrats on the WWE documentary. Um, what can you tell us? I'm so excited. So, um, Bree and I are going to have a documentary coming out with the WWE on A and E. Um, more, um, more info to come. We're sometime in July. I don't think August. I think it's July, but we'll definitely be promoting that date soon. Um, and it's really neat because we've been working on that, this documentary the past year. So you'll actually get to see some behind the scenes at the Royal Rumble. Um, as well as, I mean, they interviewed amazing people, but we just go into depth, um, not only of like, I mean, our wrestling careers, but what got us there, what we really wanted to fight for, um, how we overcame adversity in so many different ways. You're going to see probably never before seen childhood photos. Um, what we realize is we don't have much footage of us as little kids, um, but a lot of photos. Um, gosh, what else? It's just, it's really neat because we'll break down certain areas that I feel like we've never broke down and talked about before, especially when it comes to our wrestling careers. Yeah. So I think the WWE wrestling viewer is going to really love it as well as a non-wrestling viewer because I think especially being women, um, having something to overcome and showing you how we got there, the emotions in it, the moments we wanted to give up and why we kept going. Um, so it's going to be really powerful. And there's a lot of emotional moments. Um, I have a breakdown. But... Um, I cried too. Did you cry too? I cried. Oh, mm -hmm. I was like... I, think my I don't know if I'll make it or not, but I did. So, um, but it's, it's going to be really powerful. So we're really excited. The people over at A&E who we've been working with have been so incredible. They're such amazing storytellers. They usually make movies. So I feel like you get that kind of feel with this documentary. It's very movie-esque type of feels. So. Yeah, they did an amazing job. And I'm excited to see Undertakers. Like, we're actually with the really like a great group of people Ray Mysterio uh, Goldberg Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. so I was so like many. whoa this is going to be a really fun series I don't know how long it goes but um I'm really excited to mm -hmm. see it it's gonna be yeah. awesome yeah and it's always fun in the summertime I feel like to have something to look forward to to watch right yeah granted with all oh. the digital platforms like, Hacks right. just came out. I'm excited to watch season um, two. Because I've been sick all week, I binged it in two days. Hacks? Oh, yeah. season two is good? Really good. Um, loved it. Is it um, also, AGT's back. Anyone watching AGT <laughs> this season? Yeah, look at all those hearts. It was really good. They already had a golden buzzer this past week. Really? Yeah. Oh, I need to watch. Okay. Bye. I like that show. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. JoJo, they did her thing. Um, Brie was on Tuesday night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next question. Um, what TV shows are you binge watching right now? Any movie recommendations? Well, like Brie and I said, um, Hacks is really good. Okay. You know what movie I started to watch, but I have to wait to watch, finish it with Artem. What's the, what was the uh, the movie? It's before um, Harry Potter. Um, Lord of the Rings? Before, the story before going into Harry Potter. Hobbit? No. No, no, no. Um, it's on HBO Max. Anyone know? Anyone can throw it in the comments? Wait, what is what are you, is this? Because I would love to watch it. Um, it's so good. 
um, what's his name is in it? Not so much the airport. Yeah, you remember? Um, so bad. HBO Max. Um, that's gonna kill me because I'm trying to think. What did I just binge watch? Oh my gosh! Oh. Anyone know it? I watched the latest season of Outlander, which I thought it was okay. Um, yeah, you weren't crazy about it. Yeah, the ending of it was good, um, but, and then I'm trying to think what I watched before that. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, someone wrote Fantastic, Fantastic Beats, but. Uh, oh, I've, I've seen Fantastic Beats. The Secrets of uh, Double Don. Oh, Gum. Um, no, not Gumball. Dumbledore. Fantastic Beast is such a good click. And then this one's my broken phone. So Secrets of yeah, Dumbledore. Dumbledore, yeah, Secrets of Dumbledore. Um, so good. Yeah, I've actually seen that. Yeah, that one. Okay. So that is a movie I definitely suggest watching. I just watched another movie that I liked. Um, by the way, does it, has anyone ever watched Guinea in Georgia? Yeah. Any Guinea in Georgia? I like I it. Have. Did I you like it? it? Was I good. literally watched like I think it four episodes last night. It gives me anxiety as a mom. Like Brody gets older and speaks to me that way, but I get it. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need to do the next question. Brie, do you have you? Nicole, to remember I told you to watch Dune. Have you watched it yet? Oh, I haven't watched Dune because Artem and I are going to watch it together. Mind blowing. Artem will love it because that's oh, Artem and I've been film. wanting to watch Dune forever. Brian just finished the books, so. Um, I don't know if it's two books or one, whatever. So now he's going to watch it. But I was like, it's incredible. And I'll give Batista did amazing. Batista gets in some of these great series, like uh, movies. Oh, my gosh. But um, it is incredible. Yeah. Nice. I can't wait for the next. I, yeah. I love that. Oh, my son threw up Lord of the Rings. Love Lord of the Rings. Loved wow. WandaVision. Someone wrote WandaVision. Obsessed. Did anyone watch MTV Movie Awards was last night, right? Or were they just filming it? Has it not aired? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't watched Stranger Things because I'm terrified of that kind of storylines. I can't. My mom just texts, Jay is coming on. Oh, look it. Oh, no. I know. Oh, no. Hey, Jay. Okay, ready? Um. Question number seven. What are your mu your must-have clothes accessories for summer? Anatomy of a Scandal I watched. I liked it. Nicole didn't. Sorry, I just saw that. No, I oh, liked that? it. I never said it. So, it. I'll say this. I am... Um, oh, my God. Yeah. Dresses. You and I, like, I feel like for summer, you and I love the maxis. Yeah. Like, I feel like we live in those. And long jean shorts. Yeah. I um I'm one of those I need somebody I can throw on and like if I'm hot I can still feel free and move around. I don't want to feel tight. Yeah. And a fanny pack, obviously. Just kidding. Yeah. The, the, I know uh, I haven't thought of my summer essentials, but I always invest in a few uh maxi dresses. It's so and, true. And now because I never wanna get um like, I try not to get my sun on my face. I'm always wearing, like, a hat, a ball cap. Oh, yeah. You and I are always wearing hats. Yeah. And invest in a good sunscreen. Do not. I, like, loud oh, yeah. every day in sunscreen. And then myself, like, I just, you have to. Yeah. Like, you've got to protect. And make sure to protect your kids. If you have oh, kids, romp have them in sunscreen. Yeah, someone said rompers. Rompers for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually, I'll admit, I just bought a couple items, um, so it's actually hilarious. I got on an Instagram store. I'm like, oh, these will be perfect for the lake. They're like hippie vibes, but like cozy. But like, you know, when they're like conservative, but a little sexy, like that's what I love about like hippie clothes. So I ordered it and it was taking forever. And I finally reached out and she's like, oh, everything's made to order in Indonesia. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I mean, it took a while, but I need to think of the brand. It's hard to pronounce. Like my, Myra, I don't know. But I tried them on. All the stuff. So good. So good. That's the one thing I miss about San Diego. San Diego had the best maxis at all the boutiques. Like, yeah. always found the best. Well, and they, Nicole, they're cute, like, little skirts and these shirts that are a little oversized, a little bit, so a little off the shoulder, a little down, and you could tuck a little. So, like, 
I'm cozy, but I feel a little cute too. Yeah. I throw on my Birkenstocks and like, I feel like, you know, like I got ready for the day, but still cozy. I love that. Yeah, I'll do like on my IG stories. I should try on some of the stuff and show you. Yeah, you should. Um, okay, next question. If you worked on the medical field, what do you think your specialty would be? I feel like I would be a good, like, um, like a nurse. Like, a, I don't even know what you'd call, like, in the hospitals. I feel like I, I'm really nurturing and comforting. Like, I'd like to sit with people and hold their hand and talk to them and let them know things are okay and keep them updated. Kind of just be their support. Yeah. Um, members are there. So I don't know if that's a side, what do they call that? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just a registered nurse. I don't know, an RN, but that type of nurse. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I'd want to work in like the children's hospital, be a nurse in a children's yeah. hospital, give love and hope and strength. I know. You know, yeah. yeah. Social worker. Someone put in like social worker. So I oh. guess it's like a social worker. Yeah. yeah. A patient advocate. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah. Um, Mom said hospice nurse. Yeah, I, like I'd be, you know. I think I'd be good at that. You remember yeah. I thought about being a nurse at Grossmont College, and then when I saw everything, I was like, ooh, that's going to be hard. <laughs> oh, I mean, nurses what? are incredibly smart. They are. They are such selfless people. They give their whole life to the hospital, to the patients. Right. I mean, they work such long hours. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Um. So... Okay, next question. Have you seen the new Downton Abbey movie? We know you guys are huge fans. Has it come out? Is it out already? Oh, we got, we need we to got, watch. So we need to go bring, we have two movies we need to see in the theaters. Top Gun. Oh, yeah. Top Gun 2, and then we need to see Downton Abbey. So when are you we- You want to see Top Gun? I heard it's amazing. I want to see Top Gun. Um, when are we going to do this? <laughs> I know. Let's plan it. Date night. At least Artem, I know, will love to go see Top Gun okay. and then go see. Um, yeah, Down Brian will for sure not go see Downton Abbey, so I'll probably get him to Top Gun, but not Downton. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next question. I'm going to be the first time mom in August. Yay, congrats. And I just Hopefully August 1st. <laughs> and I just wanted to know if you had any advice. And especially any tips for labor, because right now I'm terrified about it. Oh, I remember that feeling. Yeah. So thank you. The one thing is, is sometimes we get so stuck on our labor plan, like, oh, we're, it's going to be like this, yeah. and like that, and whatever. You have this whole idea of it. But you just never know what your body or your baby will do in labor, and you just have to let go. Go in there and just let your body and your baby make the decision, because they're the ones who are in sync. And just kind of let go and go with the journey and the process because it's hard, but it's one of those things you'll remember for the rest of your life. And at times, this sounds weird. You almost wish you can go back into it. But it, it's such a blessing to be able to have a child. And it's truly the miracle of life. So just think of that. And before you know it, like, it, it just goes fast. It's like when you're in it, it feels forever. But then all of a sudden, it's just done. And it's crazy. I totally agree. And I would say moving around. <laughs> That's I kept texting like, you that. I said, I know. these positions move around. Like, yeah. Especially because you were in there with labor with me and you saw how much I was moving around with Bird. Right. You know, balls. Um, yeah. I would say moving around and totally. And I agree with Bree. Like, I don't think the plan's going to work. It's just. Yeah. You know, one of my girlfriends was doing squats. And, what? And her, Danielle doing the squats in the labor room, and boom, baby was out like yeah. swear, 20 minutes later. It was like so quick. Blood flow. Keep that blood flowing. Yeah. Just know, I do have to say, the nurses in there make you feel so comfortable, and your doctor. Yeah. And just listen to them because they, you know, and just be honest with everything how you feel. Whatever you're feeling, right. just express it, don't hold it in. Um, so, okay, next question. And last question. Um, any advice for keeping kids entertained for the summer? Yeah. Well, 
I guess it kind of depends where you live. Like, if you're by nature, I think hiking and coming up with fun, like, outdoor activities is always a thing. It wears kids out. I think it's mm -hmm. mentally stimulating. Um, nature is just always gives you that, you know, I mean, you win on every aspect of everything with your kids. So always, I think, first think of that. And then if you're kind of more where you're in an area, like a city or something, and you don't have that, then arts and crafts and if you go to pinterest they come up with the craziest ideas but they're so fun like birdie and i are always on pinterest and um i mean i even like she goes and looks up these printable masks so i'm always printing out different masks like the other day she wanted a dragon mask because she, she wanted to chase buddy around and scare him and so i'll print it out cut it and then she spends like 30 minutes an hour decorating but a bunch of arts and crafts um I also think like um, Brian this morning with Birdie like makes her do 30 minutes to an hour of school. So Birdie was doing that this morning with him. And then like all of a sudden she feels like free day and has fun. And then she was outside with bubbles. But what do you think, Nicole? Um, well, like JJ wrote summer camp. So I think if... Oh, you know, yeah. Good idea. Summer camps are good. Um, someone wrote splash pads, but I do. I get... That's what I've got Mateo's, some of the water toys, because he's obsessed with water, but then it keeps him outside, and even though it's warm, and we don't have a pool, so um, I feel like some water toys, and there's some great affordable ones on Amazon. Um, For sure. Or you can make and, your own, and like yeah. the, the bowls. And Artem and I just know, right. And Artem and I just know that, like, we... You know how much we would like to maybe do some things for ourselves like we need to make sure we're keeping mateo entertained well i'm lucky enough that i was able to well, the room isn't done but as you could see he was here this morning and like he's just obsessed with coloring i got him this kitchen i feel like he's always making artem and i meals but what i've realized mateo's obsessed with anything he wants to draw he he wants to constantly be doing something like that but like Bri, like you said the books, the toys, it's, um, the good thing is Amazon, I feel like has a lot of affordable stuff, but, yeah. um, just keeping them busy and outside. Artem and I are always at all these different parks, constantly taking them to different parks. So. Yeah. JJ was right too. Having them cook and bake with you. Birdie does that. Yeah. And it's fun. And also like Brian and I are very big on having a schedule. Sometimes it's hard on parents to go, you know, yeah like just go with it every day because i think we never then allow time for ourselves right but goes down for his nap at noon um after birdie eats lunch so birdie goes into quiet time anywhere around twelve thirty one. but yeah. then it's nice for brian and i to have that middle of the day break too our art of night so, agree yeah and like i just think like to have a good schedule throughout the day so everyone's has their sanity because it can be hard on parents a full day of like trying to Think of things. But you I know mean, what? I like that's why we go to bed so early because we get so tired yeah. of doing that. But like for us, it's important to do that. So I don't know. Well, and you know, Bird sometimes will go to me and be like, "I'm bored." I go, "That's great because yeah, bored you will is think good. of yeah." I tell her all the time, "Bored is good because you will think of so many fun things. You need to be bored. Like we shouldn't always have to stimulate our kids. No. They can sit there and be bored." And I, I'm not kidding you. And I think I've talked about this before she will all of a sudden come out in like a crazy outfit and want to put a performance on for Brian and I. Every time she's bored is when she like writes her own play script or is that yeah. a playwright? Oh, so, so I think being bored, I, our kids need to know that. It's okay. Yeah. Like taking Mateo to different parks, for me, it gets me out with nature. And so I actually enjoy it because I'll sit and watch him play or sometimes I'm playing with him. But it's not too draining on me because it makes me not be on my phone. Right. And on top of it, I'm in nature. And so that's, I think Artem and I have become obsessed a lot. And you too, you guys hike all the time, but like we're outside as much as we can until it gets super hot. And then it's inside where, you know, and I'm not going to lie. There are times when I need a break, I put on a show. Um, when I feel like I've done so much activity that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to feel mom guilt right now. I'm going to put on a show. I'm going to give myself a break to sit down, have coffee or whatever. And I know Artem and I try not to do that as much because especially 
the school that we're going to be going to, there's supposed to be no TV. And Artem and I were talking about it this morning. Like I was undoing boxes this morning. So Mateo was out doing chalk outside with me as I was like picking out boxes. He was having the best time still in his PJs, his little Yeezy slides. I got some Yeezy slides too. He loves his Yeezy slides, by the way. So I'm like, well, the call. Uh, we have to wrap this up. Cause I have to go. Home I know we have to wrap this up. There was something that else I was gonna say about something, and I can't remember. Oh, but yeah. So as I was saying earlier, I've been having baby fever, like massive baby fever. So since I've been sick and I pretty much have been laying in bed, like today's my first time, like kind of out of bed a little bit. Um, I found myself all week staring at baby Instagram videos, like newborn. Oh. I know. That's okay. I mean, did you wait until after your wedding? Yeah, well, I just feel like I need to wait still another year or two. And I know everyone's like, well, it doesn't matter. Why another year or two? Well, I just think about work, like jobs, like Barmageddon, AGT Extreme. Like, you can I do stuff like that pregnant? I know, but I, I just got to think. But... I just, and I just keep seeing siblings too. And I keep being like, why am I like feeling this and craving this? Um, so. Well, I, siblings are great. I mean, granted, do siblings fight? Yes. But there's a lot more times where they're being really sweet and cute with each other. And like, yeah. even when I took Birdie to Disneyland um, by herself for a birthday, every morning she would wake up and be like, I miss Bubba. Do you think he misses me? Like they, they, there's a love there, you know? Good. This and is not so, helping my feeling of being pregnant. I would well, mind having a little baby. What? I know. You would love to hold another baby. You and I, when we were at our sign in Orlando, we were like holding all the babies. Oh. I'm like, I'm like, give me all the babies to hold. I want to hold oh. all of them. Can you imagine a little girl with Artem and Mateo? I know. Yeah. I'll tell you how that you can make happen. There's certain ways. The girl, missionary style, really slow. No. Don't go to pound town. Oh my God. No. <laughs> you just a couple days before ovulation. Because male oh, sperm only they, last. Did yeah, you all like, just hear about that story of that woman in Texas? I didn't know this was possible. The but twins? I didn't, Brie, but she had twins, but she got pregnant with one. She got pregnant, it's three or four months later. What? Do you know that it's very rare that that can happen, but it can. Yeah. I thought it was like she got pregnant a month after having one, a baby. Okay. Maybe three or four months was exaggerated, but I don't think it was. I thought I texted you it. Wow. We'll have to yeah. check. Now, it's crazy. And the sizes of the baby. But wait, I don't even, that's crazy. It's possible because your cervix is completely closed. I didn't even realize eggs could drop when you're pregnant. It's Dude, not. I don't understand it i had it i thought it was like a star magazine like headline like yeah. i had to like good old star it, magazine and i was like nope it's possible like that can actually happen yeah hey look what said, said woman in texas gets pregnant while pregnant how cute is like, that what oh that's really cute look at that's Giannis. wild i just like that's tay tays <laughs> oh wait this is i love this one <laughs> oh, he got real excited for that one. That's oh. real good. I'm going to keep them forever. All right. Well, I better go to Brian. Yeah. My boys are still outside, but I better. Um, you have to see Buddy in up here, how where he runs to. All you do is see Brian and I sprint constantly. Oh. Well, Brie, you go. I'm going to answer a few more questions in the comments. Okay. I'm going to stay five more minutes. Okay, sounds good. Love you all. Um, we love you, Grace. Yeah, next week's episodes with Bethany Frankel. We really get in about some business talk, but also just like branding questions. And oh yeah, we, yeah. we didn't even. Yeah, we Nikki and I really used that time with her to pick her brain and to kind of help ourselves and and what we do. And so I think you guys are gonna love it. She's absolutely amazing brilliant but um she, she gave a lot of great incredible advice incredible advice brie and i made sure like brie said to take advantage of our time with her so you guys are definitely going to want to tune in wednesday because her advice is awesome yeah you know what i mean and it's not like the type that makes your head want to explode you're it's 
the type of advice where you're like, I can do this. Like she's very entertaining. Yeah. What she is saying and make things happen. So yeah, it's yeah. Really I love how honest she is. You me know, too. super yeah. honest. She doesn't care. She doesn't super care honest. if she makes headlines. Yeah. I love. Right. So, okay. Bye okay. everyone. Enjoy mm -hmm. your day. And Bye. weekend. Yeah, I'll okay. answer a few more questions. I'm gonna stay on till 9.45. Um, so if anyone wants to send in questions. Um, breezy, we love our Breezy. Um, so if there's any more questions, um, and if not, you know, we could all just stare at each other for a few more minutes. Um, oh, so someone's asking about the Zoom invites for the, um, for Club Bonita Bonita. We are posting the dates today. So yesterday, because Bree and I are not in the same state right now or town, we had to go over that of how we're going to do this. So um, we'll be posting those dates today and it will be getting to our club members. We're going to be doing two different Zooms, one for West Coast, one for East Coast. So we make sure that everyone's off work at home so we all can... Um, have our drinks, the Bonita Bonita together. Also, what's coming soon too in Club Bonita Bonita, um, Artem's gonna do a cooking session. So if you're a member, you're gonna get a cook with Artem. Um, he kind of tested it yesterday and it was really cute. Um, so yeah, and then people wanna know when I'm getting married. Um, you're gonna probably know that sooner than later. Um, so yeah, planning's still going great. It's actually cute because Artem's gone. Um, I'm sneaking over to Bree's house. They're in my car right now, but two wedding dresses. So, yes. Um, and then I'm still looking. There's some other ideas. I've been looking at a lot, and I, I haven't gotten attached to anything yet, but I've been seeing on Instagram. So, um, yeah. Um, and then what have I gotten him as a gift? Yeah, you guys, we got to do something cool for Artem. Can you believe he's going to be 40 next, a week from Sunday? He's going to be 40. That's like really big. Um, so, uh, oh, it's getting announced tonight on SmackDown. So if you're tuning in SmackDown, you're going to hear something about what we're doing a week from Sunday. Bree and I and Artem's joining along. Um, it's going to be something really cool. But I think a barbecue is a good idea. Don't you guys think barbecue? I think barbecue. I think he'll love that. Because Artem cooks, as you guys know, nonstop, but he loves to barbecue. Like, loves it, loves it. I mean, at one point, he was barbecuing, like, every day um, in our rental. So, um, and then someone said, give him a baby. Yeah, maybe I should give him a baby for his 40th. <laughs> By the way, when I told him yesterday that I had massive baby fever, and I was like, oh, can you imagine if we had a baby girl? The smile on his face, like, ear to ear, massive smile. I'm like, oh, gosh, he totally wants another. <laughs> um... So, oh yeah, someone said about his burger. His burger's so yummy. So I'm thinking on the wine club, like what do, do I have Artem do his burger or pasta? He was thinking he could do his pasta and meatballs. So we're trying to go back and forth with that. We were discussing that over coffee today. Um, okay, so any other questions? Um, I, I am getting a lot of love for having another baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, it like kind of freaks me out to think of it. Um, but I totally do have baby fever. I think, and I don't know if all you first time moms agree with me. I think it's right when your baby comes into the stop toddler stage and you like, I look at Mateo and I'm like, he is not a baby anymore. I'm like, he is a little boy. And I don't know if that's when you start to miss like how you would hold him and love on him and all those moments. Um, I think when you're on number two, like Brie, you're just excited to get out of that stage and get the kids to school because you're like, oh my gosh, I have two. Um, but when you just have the one, like I really miss all those like moments of, um, you know, giving him his bottle or nursing him and rocking him in the rocking chair. And, oh my gosh. I just miss all that. Um, but anyways, um, okay. Well, I'm going to go, you guys. Um, oh, my God. Someone just said they had three back-to-back. -back. You go, girl. Um, someone said, what happened to Birdie Bee? Is this reminding you of it? <laughs> we actually going to have a big announcement on that soon. Um, we are in the process of revamping Birdie Bee. Um, we definitely, obviously, were affected during COVID. Um, 
as you all know, factories were closed for a long time. We couldn't get a hold of certain fabrics. And so we just felt the need that it needed to be paused as we regrouped and revamped. And we actually have a really big meeting Monday. And I want you to know we're all still part of Birdie Bee. And it's about to get really, really good. Um, so that's all coming soon. I can't, I, not that I can't give anything away, but um, it's going to be better and bigger than ever. And I'm really excited for it. Super excited for it. So, um, yeah. And let's see what else. Um, okay. Well, I think I'm going to go. Um, someone asked, what's my wine brand? Bonita Bonita Wine. Make sure to head to the IG. Um, it's amazing. And I also want to let you all know that even though I'm on the Bell's podcast right now talking about this, I'm going to head probably over there and talk about it later. Um, we've been seeing all the feedback. A lot of people have been wanting to purchase individual bottles. And the reason why we haven't been doing that is because we'll realize shipping in the summertime is very, very expensive. Um, because when you're shipping white wine, um, Shipping includes the costs that include ice packs and signatures, all these things. So we're going to, we've been talking as a team and we're going to put them out individually. I just want you to know that the shipping, it's a lot um, when it comes to all that. So that was like a complaint in the past. So we were like, let's just do the club where everything's included. Um, but I think we're also going to just give that option of individual bottles. So if people want to pay individual bottles and shipping, they can. Um, but yeah, so um, we, we always want you guys to have our Bonita Bonita. We just always have to be honest with you right now, shipping for wine. I mean, just to even get, because we look at the back end, how much corks are, how much the glass bottles are, because everything, because of the pandemic, there's not as much um, of supply. So it is like, even just to put labels on it, you're like, oh my gosh, the costs right now are outrageous. And then on top of it, we're dealing with very minimal grapes because now we're starting to hit all the fire seasons where we've lost so much. So that's why prices are higher um, because we have really good wine and we're not going to water it down to make more bottles. We want to make, give you pure grape juice. Okay. So um, anyways, I love you all. I'm going to go. Um, I'll give you a house tour soon. My house is a mess right now. Um, so I will do that soon. You know when you've been sick all week? I mean, look at my hair. Even though I've been washing my hair, but I look like a mess. So I'm going to go shower. <laughs> I'm going to go wash my hair, shave my legs. And I will all see you on the gram later. I hope you all have an amazing Friday. Thank you for always tuning in to the Bellas Podcast. Thank you for subscribing, telling your friends and family. Make sure to tune in this Wednesday, Bethany Frankel. It's going to be amazing. Um, and I love you guys. And I'm going to have a very special Sister Sunday with my man this week. So um, stay tuned.